Um, so the the EFF decided to to stand up in council meeting to do a silent protest, and it started out as a silent protest. And the mayor said, the speaker actually ruled against them firstly, but the mayor said he doesn't have any problem with anybody having a silent protest. That was fine until the EFF came down from the benches to the council floor where the mayor was giving his speech and stood in front of him with posters saying, J.P. Smith has blood on his hands, J.P. Smith is a murderer, free, free our taxes or something to that effect, um, release them from the impounds, etc., etc. I couldn't read all of them. And that's when things started to become a little bit hairy because they started chanting over the mayor and the mayor had to stop his speech. And um, that's when the speaker made a decision to actually come into uh, or bring the law enforcement in to escort them out of the chambers. At that point, the speaker had decided that they no longer had the right to be in chambers, that they were in breach of the code of conduct for counsel, and that they needed to, to leave immediately. And, and that's when the ANC also started joining in with the, with the EFF. They came down to the, 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 the council floor. And the CCC joined them as well. And, and things started becoming a little bit hairy. And that's when law enforcement came in and created a barrier between um, the protesters and the, the councillors sitting, uh, the MAKO members mm. sitting in the front mm. row. We then decided to go down and also create the barrier between the MAKO members and ourselves. And um, then there was chants from the other side. We started singing the national anthem. And eventually the, the, the speaker decided to um, uh, not, not postpone the meeting, but uh, resume the meeting later on. So, so um, she asked all of us to go to the fifth floor and reconvene the meeting at the banqueting mm -hmm. hall. Mm -hmm. Once we were there, um, those parties that were not ejected from the chamber previously mm -hmm. joined us. So mm -hmm. the good party were there. Um, I know the Cape Exit party was there, I think, uh, and, and a couple of others. Mm. And they joined us in the banqueting hall. Um, and the law enforcement then barricaded the fifth floor um, banqueting hall. And, and you still had a quorum? And we still had a quorum at the time. So the mayor then continued with his um, speech with regards to the taxi debate and various other parties uh, joined in, uh, our party as well, the DA. And we, we kind of debate, debated the, the, um, the taxi situation. But then what we did not know was happening outside of the banqueting hall was that the EFF and CCC and other parties were actually attacking law enforcement officers while they were barricading the doors. It's not the brightest thing to do because the one no. thing the city hall's full of is cameras. Yes. So there's a lot of evidence, <laughs> a lot of evidence can that I can ask prove. So, so, so the opposition is saying that... Two things that are, that struck me now. I would like to hear your opinion on this. Yes, uh, you were there mm. um, just from the outside, watching social media, and so they are saying um, that the the police was called in. Was yes. it not the police? No, law enforcement. The law enforcement, yes. and it's apparently illegal for law, law enforcement to come in. Mean, just to, to, uh, if if that's the truth, I don't, I don't I don't know personally. No. Either way, that's the one thing. And another thing that the CCC is saying. I think more than one. Um, is saying that it's it's as if the 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 second spot where, where you guys uh, at the meeting yeah. was already prepared. No. Um, yeah, that's the two things that's 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 uh, uh, circulating. But I would like to okay. just get your 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 opinion because the thing is, um, when I watch it, I just watch it as the outsider. So yeah. it's it's interesting to to hear somebody that knows the the the, the rules and actually somebody that yeah. was there. Okay, so. Let me start with the first part, and that is the law enforcement officers. When there is a clear and present danger, then law enforcement will be called into the chambers. Um, fights, <laughs> fights have broken out in this administration in council chambers before, and um, we have required law enforcement to come in and break it up. And this is between political parties. The DA and the ANC was the last fight that happened. So that had to be uh, broken up and, and kind of calmed down. Um, in terms of this one, um, same, same rule applied. There was a, a, a danger that um, the, ourselves were, were in danger, that a fight would have broken out, and that um, who knows what kind of injury may, may have happened there. 
So um, that's why law enforcement were, were asked to, to come into the council chambers. Um, and then they, because of the EFF's re refusal to actually re remove themselves from the chambers, law enforcement then started pulling them out of the chambers. Now, I don't know the legalities of that, so please, I, I, I wouldn't be able to, to give you what the, the legal things are. But um, we need to go back to the speaker's prerogative of, um, in terms of the code of conduct. And if the speaker makes a decision, the decision is final and councillors must obey that rule, that ruling. And if they don't, it's up to the speaker to decide which action to take against those, those people. Now, getting to the second part of what you were saying, the banqueting hall. The banqueting hall was not prepared. There were tables there, but these were undecked tables. There were chairs around it. There was probably another event happening at some point in the future, but they were just chessel tables and chairs. Um, we had to carry in other, cha uh, other tables so that we could put a table down for the speaker and her staff as well as the mayor um, and we had to bring in the podium we had to bring in a table for the press as well so that they could actually set up on the sideline so there was a lot of setting up that needed to be done that was not prepared mm -hmm. so this um, conspiracy theory that we had prepared I would we, we must have a magic eight ball if we we understood that that's where this meeting would have gone mm. uh, we we did not know that the EFF was going to do a protest and um, we did, how could we possibly understand that it was going to reach that kind of level? So 